Today, my topic is Important Factors to Consider When Cleaning a Headstone, Part 2. Fourth, don't remove the original surface. The original surface may be polished and smooth. The inscriptions are generally carved into the headstone. If the original surface is altered, the way the headstone subsequently weathers may be changed. As the surface roughens, it will soil more easily. The inscriptions can be eroded away, making the headstone harder to read. Never aggressively scrub the surface, or use wire brushes or mechanical methods such as sanders or grinders to clean the surface. See also Mechanical Cleaning, Power Tools, below. Fifth, Minimize Cleaning Impacts. Minimize the number of times a headstone is cleaned in its lifetime. While a cyclic maintenance plan is needed to maintain the appearance of the headstone, overcleaning should be avoided. If possible, historic headstones should not be cleaned more frequently than once a year. Sixth, test cleaner first. Always test the cleaner for suitability and results before overall cleaning. Conduct the test using the recommended application procedures. Let test area dry thoroughly before inspection. When using a biocidal cleaner, it may take several days before the full cleaning effect is realized. When practical, allow two or more weeks for biological soiling to disappear. Seventh, consider environmental conditions. Environmental conditions may dictate the frequency of cleaning. For example, headstones that are located in shady and damp areas under trees may need to be cleaned more frequently than headstones in sunny areas. If you'd want to know more about buying a headstone, please visit website, monumentsusa.com, or 1-800-monuments.com, there are thousands of headstone designs for your beloved one.